business is really all about one thing. I don't. It's. I'm not really sure what one thing it is. I, it's all about profit or or money. It's all, all about the customer or, or solutions, providing solutions. You know. But actually, my years consulting in business. If there's anything I see more in business, it's really central to its metaphors. Business is all about. If nature abhors a vacuum. Business loves a good metaphor. I worked with a guy who had a metaphor for every meeting, every situation. You know, it's like it's like we're building a house. You know, uh, we start with the foundation, the blueprints, and then we build the walls, and then uh, or no, no, it's like a, it's like a cake. You know, we're baking a cake. We have a recipe, and then you take the ingredients and everything, and then we measure things. Now, you know, basically, half the time his metaphors went off the rails and out the window, and, and the project was kind of like his metaphors, which was kind of like Hunter S. Thompson driving a car on mescaline with E. e. Cummings and Frank Zappa in the back seat. You know? and, except the car wasn't really a car, it was sort of like a shell in, in it collapsing in on itself and, and in, a, in a six dimensional space. And, and anyway, you know, if business, if any business does is confuse shit. You know? Speaking of shit and metaphors, there's a metaphor you hear a lot, you know, people trying to do things and, you know, innovate or come up with ideas or, or, or selling is, you know, you know how it is, you know, you just, you know how it is, we just keep throwing shit against the wall, see what sticks. Yeah. Now there's a nice metaphor, you know. You're sitting in a room with a pile of feces, okay? Now that's bad. That's really bad. It's not bad enough. You're picking it up and you're throwing the feces at the wall. And you're throwing the feces at the wall. And what's the measure of success? It sticks. That's really, that's kind of a low bar. You know, I mean, like if it sticks, it's not, what about the stuff on the floor? I don't know, you know? Maybe you should be doing something else with your time. Here's another one you hear about. This is actually an Indian parable. The uh, the four guys and the elephant. You heard this one where, you know, four, uh, four blind men approach an elephant. One blind man approaches the tail and says it's, it's a rope. And another blind man is at the... Uh, leg and says it seems like it's some kind of tree and another one's on the, the belly and says no no it's a wall and the other one's at the trunk says no it's a kind of a hose of some sort now have you ever been near an elephant <laughs> aren't people who have lost their sight have heightened sense of smell <laughs> don't you think like one of the guys be like guy hold on is this an elephant? I smell an elephant here come on <laughs> See, meanwhile the elephant's thinking Get these four guys with sunglasses away from me or I'm going to stomp every single one of them. Now, the words, there's one metaphor, which really actually is a metaphor. Well, this is right. Bouncing the mic. Am I bouncing? I'm bouncing. Anyway. You uh, like that. He likes the bouncing part. And there's one metaphor that really is the metaphor for all of business, and that's thinking outside the box. Wow. Where do we begin with this one? Let's start with the box. Okay, why don't you just say thinking outside the prison? <laughs> Jesus Christ, where are you going to work? What's, what are you, are you in a cube? Are you in an, an office with a door? Maybe your office is L-shaped. It's a box, okay? What about where is the office located? In a building, another box. And how did you get to work? In a car or a train or a bus, it's a box. Everything is possible. What are you looking at on your screen? It's a box, it's a monitor. What's in the box? Windows with more boxes. And what about the PowerPoint slides? Those are square, those are boxes. Or, or uh, you know, you can look at pie charts. Or it doesn't matter, what the fuck? So, all right, okay, 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 wait. Then what you're thinking? Thinking outside the box, all right? All right, so, okay, I'll do some thinking. Let me think, okay, let me think. Because if I'm thinking, and I'm thinking outside the box, I mean, I'm in the box. So I have, to, I have to, like, close my eyes. Can I close my eyes while I'm thinking? Okay, I'm sitting in the box, and I'm closing my eyes. All right, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm floating. I'm floating far above. I rise in a lotus position, and I'm in front of this office building, and I wear a turban with the company's logo on it. And I'm floating and flowing robes in the sky as you're my hands palms up forward to the company, and I smile, and with a wave of my hand, I transform the company's products into perfectly sustainable, instantly recyclable, wholesome, pure goodness. I gaze serenely as people buy these products merely because they are so pure and wonderful. Everyone is volunteering and helping one another, not because the company matches their donations, but because they love their work. There's no real profits. Every cent made is given away in this ridiculously simple circle of mutual global love. They're all listening to me. Everybody understands. There's nothing better in it. It's all good. I've changed the world and business forever. The company is all good. I opened my eyes. That was great. I really like thinking outside the box. <laughs> yeah.